Hold up a second, Asahi. Something wrong? I've just remembered some urgent business I need to attend to right away. Wait here for me. Hey, Ko! Urgent business at Radio LaKaikon? Give me a break. Wow, you've actually waited for me. I am impressed. Of course I did. You told me to. Well, good boy then. Here, hold this. Huh? What the heck is all this? Sentries. Gee, thanks, Captain Obvious. What I mean is, what the heck are you doing passing them off on me like that? Oh, you're not happy? But I'm offering you actual work. Work? As a bag handler. What? Oh, just be grateful for the gesture. It means you've graduated from needdom. Anyway, next up. What part of this qualifies as urgent business again? When I want something, I go out and buy it. Immediately. That's about what I thought. Now come on. We're going to Juan Quixote on Main Street next. What? But I never said I'd go with you. Ugh, I smell a side quest. Okay, we're here. Right. So you go wait over there. What? No, I've got some stuff I want to check out, too. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We're at Wands. Isn't shopping the whole reason we're here? Not we. Just me. What? But you're totally still having me hold your bags, aren't you? How is that fair? All right. Time for some crepes. Crepes? A bit too sweet, but I suppose it will have to do. Uh, Ko? What? Where's mine? I mean, I know my hands are full and all, but... Oh, you wanted one too? Seriously? I've never heard of anyone wanting to eat crepes alone. Well, you're in luck then, because you have now. It's a new life experience you didn't know you'd have today. I don't want a new life experience. I want a crepe, damn it! Okay then, off we go. What, you want to go dangle more carrots in front of me now? Jeez, at least give me a chance to catch up. Or you could just move faster. We're going to the side streets next. Man, I really wanted a crepe too. It's always good to say it regularly, but mindfully. Well, what urgent business do you have now? It's right in front of you. I'm going to Rakos. Rakos? Isn't that like a cosplay shop? Ooh, are you gonna... I'll thank you not to jump to conclusions. I'm just looking for new clothes, nothing more. Ah. What manner of perversion were you imagining in that twisted little head of yours? Nothing, not a thing. Huh? What? What's going on? You didn't buy anything. I never said I would. I said I was going to look for new clothes. Oh, come on. Shopping in general was already a stretch, but how does window shopping qualify as urgent business? It just does. How? It's something somebody said to me once. Back to the real world, the true world. A world where there are lots and lots of fun things just waiting for us. My crepes, so delicious. And you can buy all sorts of things from these quaint little stores with cute owners. If you wanted, we could even go look at clothes together and... Actually, it's nothing. Never mind. Ko? Look, can you just carry my bags? Will you stop running off without me?
found you. Who? Me? No, not you. Sha. I've got beef with the girl standing next to you. You mean... Me? Yeah, you. Ko? Do you know her? No. And even if I did, I'd try to forget her immediately. Don't you dare forget me! Thanks to you, everything is completely ruined! You seem like you're a pain to deal with, but don't worry, I've already forgotten all about you. You can go now. Oh, how dare you! Ko, do you really not know anything about this? Nope, not a clue. That's BS and you know it. It was you. It was definitely you. Okay, it is time for you to shut up. In fact, I forbid you from speaking another word to me. If you understand these terms, tell me now. Uh, is she serious? There you are. You are the worst. So this is where you've been hiding. I won't let you get away with this crap again. Yeah, you are causing trouble for everyone and it has to stop. Oh, uh, what do you people want? We're just saying, if you try to pull a stunt like this again, you'll be sorry. Got it? Good. Now you see here, you little... Whoa, calm down. Let's not do that. Why are you stopping me? Are you really, truly sure you have no idea who they are or what they're talking about? Not the slightest clue. And the very sight of such arrogant women disgusts me. Then why run after them? They're clearly just mistaking you for someone else. It happens. I understand that, but their accusations are discomforting. Okay. You want to go find out then? Find out what? What caused them to confuse you with someone else? You won't feel at ease until you know, right? <laughs> I'll do what you want. In other words, yes. So let's do it. Let's find those girls and get to the bottom of this. the score. S settle the... What? You're still not done? <gasps> Going to torment me some more, are you? Sorry, sorry. That was just a figure of speech. Katomi here isn't exactly the most socially savvy person. Can I ask, though, what you mean when you say torment some more? How were you tormented previously? Uh, I mean, where do I even start? I can't believe you two would fall for this... this stuck-up goth. Now, just hold on a second. So, uh, who's Yuta? That's a common name. There are lots of Yutas out there, but I've never heard of one. Wait, what? Which is it? N never mind. Let's just go and find someone else. Where you ran off to, is it? What? Did you follow me? What do you want? I've come to end this. Huh? End this? Ko, that doesn't come across the way I think you want it to. We're actually here because we wanted to get to the bottom of what's going on. Would you mind talking it over with us? I've got nothing to say. Well, I do. You are to get down on your knees and beg for my forgiveness. Huh? Don't screw with me! What makes this even worse is that you really are ridiculously pretty. You know it's your fault that Takumi left me, don't you? Huh? Uh, Ko. I don't know anyone named Takumi. Don't know anyone named... Ugh. Do you know how insulting that is? You think you can just waltz off with my man? You are truly, seriously the worst. You're the worst, not me. I don't want to see your face or those nasty eyes of yours ever again. Get out of my sight! I cannot believe she ran away! I can, and you should let her. <laughs> I didn't want to see her again anyway. I should find her and rip her to shreds. 
How about we find someone else you can try again to be, you know, civil? Come on. start. Wh what the? Please ignore her. Or uh, tell me about her, I guess. I just want to know why you're so mad at Katomi here. What, she hasn't told you herself? Hasn't told me what? Ugh, she won't even own up to it. That's just how it happened with Kinta. She had him snookered too. Had him snookered? You better watch out, dude. That girl is a demon in doll's clothing. Oh, you're preaching to the choir. Not that it matters. I'll never be able to beat her anyway. It should be illegal to be that cute. I am so confused by all of this. So, I'm a demon in doll's clothing, am I? How about I tear you into neat little pieces? Then we'll see who's a demon! Ha 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 ha! Who's a demon indeed? Very clever. So on another topic entirely, who's Kinta? Not a clue! It's somebody you snookered, apparently. Not ringing any bells? Or defining any words? Look, I said I have no idea, and I meant it. And I don't care either. No reason to care. Not my problem. Hmm. Maybe you have a doppelganger running around Akiba or something. In any case, let's go see if we can find that last girl. As they say, uh, fourth time's the charm? if you didn't speak my name quite so freely. You seem to really want me to rip you to shreds. Hold up a sec, miss. Did you just call her Katomi? Y y you are Katomi Sonata, right? You are mistaken. No, she's not. That's who you are. And apparently the girls who accosted you didn't have the wrong person after all. Wrong person? Hey, do you mind if I ask you a question? What did Katomi do to you exactly? Well, she didn't do anything. That is what I've been saying all along. Uh, I mean, you didn't even know what was happening, but still. But still what? My boyfriend totally lost interest in me, and it's all Katomi's fault. W what now? He just up and dumped me, totally out of nowhere. So I tried pressing him for a reason, and he said he found a new girl he was crazy about. The young daughter of the Sonatas! Seriously? Seriously. And I'm not alone. There are like a zillion other guys around here that she lured in with her siren song. So that means... Uh, I mean, where do I even start? I can't believe you two would fall for this... this stuck-up goth. You know it's your fault that Takumi left me, don't you? Huh? She won't even own up to it. That's just how it happened with Kinta. She had him snookered, too. It's the same story with all of them. Their boyfriends are going bananas over Katomi. Man, if they only knew what tree they were all barking up, you know? Huh? I mean, like, all those guys who fell for her. They should really, uh... <laughs> Whatever should they do, Asahi? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, this is totally hopeless. What's up with her? Oh, just leave her alone. This is it. This is how it all ends. I don't know. Something about her seems off. She might be a deluser. 
Um, excuse me, miss. Is something wrong? Oh, um, uh, well, sort of. I'm teetering on the edge of my printer's deadline, and I'm not even close to finishing this draft. Oh, are you in journalism? Uh, not quite. I I'm not a big name or anything, but I'm something of a manga writer. Manga? My deadline's tonight, and all I can do <laughs> is laugh. It helps me hide from reality. But seriously, what am I going to do? Oh, the wellsprings run dry. I can't think of any good girl's love scenarios. Good girls love? You know, Yuri, GL. If I can't come up with a good passionate scene, I feel like Replica Game's never going to end. Replica Game? Ko, you okay? It really is you, isn't it? You're Lily Maiden, aren't you? Oh, why, yes, I am. You know my work? I do, it's one of my weekly pleasures. But the story's pace has been kind of mm, unbearable lately. Oh. You need to get out of this rut and move on with the narrative. I'm sick of waiting to find out who the replica is. Oh. And the Eighth Maiden, for that matter. She's always just shown in silhouette, and I've had enough of it. <gasps> Ko, can't you see you're breaking her already fragile dreams? I'm just trying to motivate her. It's do or die right now. If the next issue is good, the series could really take off. Whoa, Ko being supportive? Who knew? Oh, but this time's different. I am at my limit here. So you're just going to give up and run away? I have been looking forward to new issues of your manga every week, you know. I'm afraid I'm going to have to forbid you from quitting. You got that? Answer me. Yeah, yes, ma'am. You've really been keeping up with her manga every single week, Ko? It's good. And the character designs are really cute. Then don't you think maybe there's something more we can do to help her? Such as? Um, well? Oh, uh, perhaps you might be able to pick up some supplies for me. Oh, uh, if, if that's all right, anyway. I actually came to Akihabara for that exact purpose. But in the end, I think it was really just an escape. Sounds good. What do you say, Ko? Let's get her some supplies. Wow, you'd really go to all that trouble for me? Oh, yeah, no problem. You just keep focused on coming up with new material, and we'll handle the rest. Thank you so very much. Somehow or another, I am going to make this happen. I swear I will. I am going to go to the Max Celsius Cafe in front of the station and try to get some work done. You can find me there. Why do I have to be bothered getting art supplies? You look forward to a new issue of her manga every week, don't you? Well, yes, but... So then what's the problem? We give her a helping hand. Though, crap, we never asked her what supplies she needed. I know what she needs. We'll just go to Animart on Main Street. They have a nice selection there. Uh, Co? Here, please. I'm going to go buy what she needs. Have fun. Got it. Oh, that was quick. What did you end up buying? Writing paper and screen tone sheets. Oh, you sure that was wise? There are a lot of different kinds of screen tone, you know. I definitely chose the right ones. Trust me, I know. Man, you really are a fan of her work. I bought her a G pen, too. Oh, one of those pens designed specifically for writing manga? Aren't there a bunch of different kinds of those, too? She's talked about it on Quipper before, and I recognize this particular brand from one of my favorite photos of her. You were able to recognize the pen from a photo? That's incredible. To me, all pens pretty much look the same. Even a tenth of a millimeter difference in the thickness of the tip gives each pen a totally different character. They're tools of the trade. You should know better than to underestimate them. Ugh, that's why you're a neat. I really don't think there's any correlation there at all, actually. Ugh, whatever. Believe what you want. We've gathered up everything we need, so we're done here. Okay, let's go deliver it to her then. If I recall, she said she'd be at Maxelsier Cafe in the Station Plaza. It's a collectible shop! Why not buy a ton of cars while we're here?
Ah, oh, there she is. I bought you a bunch of things. It should be everything you need. Oh, these are perfect. I use a G-Pan in this kind of tone all the time. You knew just what to get me. Thank you both so much. Oh, he doesn't need any thanks. He's just in need, so he's got nothing better to do with his time anyway. Wow, that hurts, you know. So, did you think of a good way to progress the story? I sure did. The perfect continuation, in fact. Just now, thanks to you two. Oh, well, glad we could help, I guess. But all I did was buy you things. No, no, trust me. It's the two of you just being who you are that helped inspire me. Though, if it's all right with you, I'd love to chat you up a bit more for research to help liven up the narrative. For research? Ah, I, I see, I see. Um, so Katomi here is a big fan of dolls, then. And Asahi's a college dropout turned neat. What could you possibly be getting out of listening to us talk about our lives? Yeah, what kind of story are you planning, exactly? Um, well, the true identity of the Eighth Maiden is going to be a razor-tongued gothic Lolita girl. And her master will be a strapping, yet aimless young neat boy. But in reality, their roles are reversed. The neat we thought was in charge is in fact the girl's slave. That's a bit odd. But yeah, I can kind of see it. I'll look forward to reading it. It's pretty good, right? I'm seriously so indebted to you two. Well, get to work. I expect to find the next issue on the shelf at the regular time, and it won't write itself. Don't you worry. I will make it. Oh, thanks again. Seriously? A razor-tongued gothic Lolita girl and a neat manservant? Something wrong with that? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. No, I think I understand, actually. You do? Yes, I get it. You're worried that with the time loop and all, the new issue will never actually get finished. You think that's what my problem is here? Gesundheit. Personally, I like it. It just feels very Akiba to me. But they throw around the word master like it doesn't mean anything. Show some dignity, girls. Show some reverence. These fake maids are such a far cry from Yoshino. How would you prefer they act? Do you want them to stop calling out to people on the street? No, it's not that. I just hate the whole, I want to be a maid because they're cute mindset. That's not a true maid. Okay. How do you think they should act then, to make their maiddom more authentic? Hmm. Well, for starters, they need to convey a lot more love and adulation when addressing their masters. Interesting. Can you give me an example? Uh, okay. This ought to be good. Wait. You're just trying to get me to say something embarrassing, aren't you? Heaven forfend. I'm just keeping the conversation flowing. <laughs> you are incorrigible. You are just like those maids. I want to be a neat because I don't have to work. Hey, I'm a neat because I like it. Exactly. You're a bandwagoner. You think it's counterculture and cool to be a neat. No thought went into it. Ugh, whatever you say, Ko. You know, though, while we're on the subject, don't you think your own way of speaking could use some adjustment? Not at all. But you're a distinguished daughter of the Sonata family, right? So shouldn't you speak more like a proper lady? Ugh, no. That's exactly what someone wanting to be like all the other distinguished daughters would do. Okay, so explain to me how your current mannerisms are an appropriate alternative then. I don't have to, because there's no problem with the way I am. Hey, at least try out a couple different speech styles. Couldn't hurt, right? How about, you dingus? Uncouth and idiotic. Yeah. Ouch. Sorry, Pinkoon. I'm serious, Pinkoon. Why do you always say yeah, and dingus and all that? It makes you sound like a damned fool. Come on, that's just the way I talk. It's Pinkoon style, baby. Really? 
That's all there is to it? I always just thought you were trying to sound cute. <laughs> all right, I have a new quest for us, Ko. A challenge, if you will. We're going to talk to a bunch of different people and see if we can't find a new speech style that suits you better. But why? I'm me, and me suits me just fine. Oh, this just sounds like a waste of effort. Oh, I can think of at least one good reason. Which is? How about so you stop driving metaphorical daggers into my heart with every word you say to me? Oh, would you prefer real ones? Look, I'm officially filing this as a quest, so let's just do it. Let's get out there and listen to people talk. Oh no, you are not getting the last word on me. about why not try a little chat chat co hey wait up wait up after asking me to mew like a kitten do you even hear yourself all right all right i get it but i mean just give it one shot just one sentence i'll never ask you to do it again after that hey co yo darn window shoppers Try stopping in if you're gonna pause in front of my establishment. Yeah. When saving, do be careful not to overwrite a sibling's data. Where the light shines, so too doth darkness dwell. Tis the nature of the universe from creation, for perpetuity. Darkness dwells. Oh, of course. You're into darkness, right? This is perfect. What dost thou seek in the darkened depths? A warm rest? A cool awakening? More like the opposite. A warm awakening and some cool sleep. Uh, what? I mean, it's been so cold and bitter in the mornings, right? Yet by the time night falls, it's sweltering. If that be thy response, then for both shalt I wish upon the stars above. Oh, please do. I'd appreciate it. She hasn't even noticed his speech style. She's just having a normal conversation with him. Unbelievable. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? Hey, how's it going? Well, if it isn't Master Asahi, something I can help you with? Oh, no, we're just here on a quest of sorts. I'm trying to introduce Katomi here to some new speech styles. So, Ko, when Nana here gets startled, she... Uh, she's real. I swear she is. I guess she up and left you, huh? Hey, Ko! Jeez, Ko, hold your horses. Seriously, why not try talking like Nana? It's subtle, easy to adapt to. No, 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 not on your life. I'll kill you. Ah! <sighs> it's hopeless. Blunt and mean is all you know. I told you right from the start, every other speech style is the worst. Particularly that curvy pink puffs. Yeah? Are styles like that supposed to add character or something? It's stupid. It just attaches you to an archetype. I don't know. I feel like your style of speech pretty well attaches you to an archetype, too. I'm not an archetype. I beg to differ. But either way, if not for archetype classification, then why do you talk the way you do? I don't know. I've never thought about it. Not even once. The mistress can't help but speak the way she does. 
It's simply who she is. Yoshino? Hey, Yoshino. Quick question. Has Ko always been like this? She has indeed. Do you think maybe, just maybe, it's because you've been spoiling... Asahi? You wouldn't by any chance be complaining about me to my maid, would you? Oh, no. Perish the thought. Oh, my. Jeez, Yoshino, don't laugh. My apologies. It's just that, as I said, the mistress is who she is. And this exchange between you two only proves it. What do you mean? Allow your mind to wander for a moment. Imagine what it would be like if... Well... Master, I am at your beck and call. Whatever you wish, it will be my command. <laughs> I am Master Katomi, the cold-hearted poisonous doll, unequaled in this world, and you are a dingus! Now that you mention it, those are all simply terrible ideas. Oh my, yes. You finally understand. What the heck are you two talking about? Sorry about all this, Ko. I was wrong to try and change you. You're fine just the way you are. Huh? Oh, wherever has she gotten off to? Is something wrong, miss? My little one's gotten lost. I was taking an important phone call, and before I knew it, whoosh, she just zipped away. You are the worst. Uh, Ko? You are a parent. You need to pay more attention to your child, and I don't think I like your tone either. Your kid just zipped away? That is not how you describe a child running off. She's not a pet. Um, actually... I don't want to hear your excuses. You're a pathetic excuse for a human being! Oh! Let's go, Asahi. Go where? We're going to go look for this neglectful woman's little one. Really? You do that for me? You just wait here. She might come back on her own, and you'd better be here with open arms if she does. So, what is her name? Her name is Hanachan, and she's my super cute baby girl. That is all I need to know. Come on, Asahi. We've got a baby girl to find. Um, the thing is... Sorry, she gets real steamed real fast. Not that I can entirely blame her, all things considered. They moved overseas when the mistress was still but a little girl. This was over ten years ago, and they still only return home to Japan once a year at best. Any child would feel isolated in such a situation. And try as I might, I have failed to quell her loneliness. Anyway, we'll find your little girl. You have my word. Hanachan was so tiny, so adorable. And my valuation cannot be erroneous. Talent like Hanachan's comes along only once every 300 years. Hey, you two. <laughs> ah! What were you two just saying? Who wants to know? That is not important. What is important is Hanachan. Where is she? You know, don't you? Of course. It would be a disgrace to the name Twiggy Slims of the Idol Research Society were I not to know. Uh, what? <laughs> I can't believe we were able to sing our praises in front of the real Hanachan. We're not worthy. <laughs> what? What is the meaning of this? What's the meaning of what? What's not to love about ACQ48's lovely Hanako Kamida? Do you not understand her value? 
Her face was hidden by a mask, but that was undoubtedly Hanachan in the flesh. <laughs> Stop calling her Hanachan. That is so misleading. What? Well, you're a rude young woman, aren't you? Uh, yeah, sorry guys, our bad. We're just out here looking for someone. She's also named Hanachan and is a little girl. Have you seen her? <laughs> I'm not into Lomicon. That name doesn't appear in any of my idol records. Where's she from exactly? You're wasting your breath, Asahi. Hey, wait up! Sorry, you two, but I gotta go. We're kind of in a hurry here. <laughs> huh? It's good to say regularly, but mindfully. <laughs> oh, my little Hana-chan. You're just cute as can be. Wait! What did you just say? <laughs> Sorry to come at you out of nowhere, man. We're actually looking for a Hana-chan ourselves right now. Do you know where she is? Uh, um... Yeah, I, I was just playing with her. Playing with her? <laughs> Where did this occur? Calm down, Ko. This is probably just a misunderstanding like last time. So, uh, Nekro, was it? What is this Hanachan like? Uh, um, well, ch she's really t tiny and isn't afraid of people at all. And she's just so, so cute. How can you say super creepy things like that about Hanachan? You didn't do anything to her, did you? What do you mean? We we played around a little, and I guess I petted her a little. Ugh, unforgivable! <laughs> so where was it that you played with Hanachan exactly? The, the ba back alley over there. Thanks for the info, Nekara. But, dude, seriously, think what would have happened if you'd been seen petting Hanachan. You really need to get yourself under control, okay? I, I don't understand. Well, well, what did I do? This is the back alley he was referring to, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't see a little girl anywhere. Do you think she was kidnapped? Don't even say that! Hana-chan! Where are you? Oh, come on out. You don't need to hide. Hey! Hana-chan! Your mom's worried sick about you. Don't you want to go see her? Not a peep. I'm worried that maybe somebody really did kidnap her. I told you not to say that. If you've got enough time to dream up awful scenarios, you've got time to look harder! Sorry. You're right. Hana-chan! If you're there, please come out! Let us know you're safe! Oh. A cat? Hana-chan! Where are you? <coughs> Hana-chan? Hello? <coughs> Ko, look down. Oh. Yes, it's a cat. So what? Excellent deduction. Look at its collar, though. Okay, so it's got a collar. Even strays have collars in this day and age. What is your point? Who's a good little kitty? Here, kitty. I'm gonna pick you up for just one second, okay? Don't be scared. <coughs> yep, just as I suspected. See for yourself, Ko. There's a name on the collar. Hanako? This is our Hanachan. Female, about four years old and cute as a button. What? Seriously? Looks like we might have jumped the gun on this one. But we did find her, so that's good at least. That's a good kitty. Good kitty. Oh, this is so stupid. We found her though, so what say we get her back to mommy? Come on. Again, ma'am. Hanachan! Oh, I can't believe it. Hanachan's back! It's really her! 
You completely misled us. Pretty sure she's not the one who tuned out and took off, Ko. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I don't need thanks. Instead, I have a job for you. A job? From now on, you're to keep a much better eye on Hanachan. Don't let her run off alone, no matter what. Oh, yes, of course. I promise. All right. You can go, then. Whether you're a person or a cat, being alone never feels good. You okay, Ko? It's nothing. If you say so. I have a job for you too, though, Asahi. Huh? Me? From now on, we need to look for Hanachan every day. What? We're in a time loop, remember? If this happened today, then it's just going to keep happening. Uh, maybe we should ask Akemi about that and see what she thinks. Pardon me, Master Asahi. Might I perhaps have a moment of your time? Sure. What's up? I'm preparing an afternoon treat for the mistress, and there are a variety of ingredients I'll need to complete it. Man, you really are the real deal, aren't you? Not only do you look after Ko, but you even make her desserts. Attending to the mistress's many needs is my sworn duty. I'm happy to make all her meals, from breakfast through dinner. I take it then that Ko's life is pretty, uh, responsibility-free, shall we say? Do you have a problem with that? Letting someone else take care of all the little stuff suits me just fine. Don't you think you might be spoiling her, Yoshino? I feel that I'm teaching her the necessities of running a household, which may prove useful to her in the future. And I keep telling you, I don't have even the slightest intention of getting married and settling down. What? Married? Oh, yes. I've been stressing the importance of homemaking, as that may yet prove the most viable path for her. Wow. Color me shocked. <laughs> Let's stop talking about me for one second and focus on what's important here. You said you needed ingredients? Oh, yes. I would appreciate us taking a detour so I can acquire... Oh, wh what's wrong? I believe I forgot to shut off the gas at the manor this morning. That's not like you. Indeed. I'm terribly sorry. If you would please allow me a moment's return to the manor, I'd be most appreciative. I'll be back as soon as I'm able. Huh. Looks like she dropped something. It's a recipe. The mistress's treat. First she leaves the gas on, then she drops crucial documents? Huh. Something is definitely off about Yoshino today. Maybe she's tired from being overworked so much by a thoughtless mistress? <laughs> Not a chance. Either way, let's go do her shopping. It would take a load off her plate and, I mean, it's for you anyway, right? That's true enough. And if we save time on gathering ingredients, I'll be able to get my afternoon treat sooner. Wow, you're actually going along with my suggestion? Let's not waste any time then. To the supermarket at UBX. When saving, do be careful not to overwrite a sibling's data. So, what's on the list? Onions, eggs, a bowl of udon, and some fish paste. Come again? Hey, don't look at me. That's what it says. It certainly does. What the heck kind of afternoon treat can you make from those ingredients, though? What, are you doubting Yoshino's ability? Not exactly, but something definitely doesn't add up here. Yoshino can make absolutely anything you know. Like what? What does she normally make you? Japanese sweets, Western sweets, stuff I've never even heard of before, too. Like I said, anything. Wow, the real deal all the way. <laughs> what did you expect? She is my maid. This should be everything. Yep, I think we're done here. Oh, no, not quite yet. There's more written down here. I've never heard of this particular spice before, though. What is spatula? Huh? 
What are you talking about? It's a spatula, a cooking utensil. Oh, right. So where would we find one of those? Juan Quixote's a good bet. Nearest one is on Main Street. Let's Amscray. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? All right. Now get in there and buy me a spatula. You're serious, aren't you? You really have no idea what a spatula is, do you? Just how little cooking experience do you have? Can you cook at all? Oh, how rude. Of course I can. What, like cup ramen? No, like salmon. You can grill a salmon? What are you talking about? Salmon goes in rice balls. Ah, of course. My mistake. And I'm pretty good with kelp, too. Also in rice balls, I'm guessing. Of course. What else would you do with it? Uh, a lot of things, actually. Nonsense. Seriously, just how much does Yoshino actually do for you? Everything you'd expect of a maid. She prepares my tea, makes me treats, that sort of thing. Then there's the preparing of my meals, cleaning, and of course, the laundry. Oh, and sorting and taking out the trash. That poor, poor woman. Phew. That was quite a shopping list. No kidding. Why was all of this on there? How should I know? I just bought whatever was written down. Shampoo, conditioner, detergent, bath soap, tissues, trash bags, a scrubbing brush, toothpaste. How is any of this related to making a midday treat? What do you want from me? If it was on the list, I got it. Now let's hurry up and carry all of this back to the manor. It's over toward Junk Street. This shop sells all kinds of odds and ends, shall we? Ah, oh, a safe point. Shall we take a break? A delusion scape. Shall we enter? A clothes shop. Perhaps the mistress would care to try something. Oh, young miss. Hmm, did you just get here? Suspicious. But not to worry, we did all of your shopping for you. Oh, oh my. Thank you very much, mistress. Keyword is we, so you can be pretty confident everything is right. <laughs> I could have done something like this on my own, you know. Such spirit. It's wonderful to see. Spirit? Aha! Uh -huh. You planned this, didn't you? Oh, no. Nothing of the sort. I simply dropped my to-do list in my haste. After which point, you and the young miss were kind enough to take it upon yourselves to aid me in my duties. And surely it was nothing more than kindness on your parts. Oh my. No, I totally get it now. This whole trip was a ruse to teach Ko a lesson in homemaking. Please keep your voice down. One step at a time, I always say. Hey! What are you two talking about? <laughs> about you, young miss, of course. Hey, Asahi, you've got some time now, right? I demand you tell me you do. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? I'm looking for a few things. Take me somewhere where I can buy chopsticks and soup bowls. Well, this is a surprise. No back talk. Just hurry up and lead the way. If you're that desperate, let's just go to Etri over there. They should have you covered. I already checked there. Isn't there any place else you can think of? Hmm. Let's see. We're specifically looking for Japanese-style stuff, right? That's the idea. Then how about we ask Yoshino? She seems like a pretty traditional kind of person. I'm sure she knows a good spot. No, she's no good. She may not seem it, but she's actually into Western-style things. Really now? Yes. If I say so, it must be true. And you have to believe me. Okay. Guess we'll just have to ask around and see if we can't find someone with a flair for the traditional.
Um, excuse me. Hi, Japanese person. Why are you asking a tourist? Think about it. If anybody's going to know where to buy traditional knickknacks, it's tourists, right? <laughs> I suppose. Okay, riddle me this. Do you know of any good places around here that sell traditional Japanese things? Oh, -ho! you are Totemo Nadeshiko Yamato. With long black hair, you are quintessential Totemo Japanese lady. What? So super kawaii. Can we take a picture together? Daijobu desu We're getting nowhere here. Oh no! Warui Warui! I don't have time for your games. Do you know a good store or not? If you know one, spill it. Yes, I Wakaru. Totally Wakaru. I do kaimono at Duty Free Shop not long ago. I see. A Duty Free store, hmm? On Main Michi is Totemo Good Store. Name is called Wacky, doesn't it? Let's go, Asahi. Sayonara, Nadeshiko Yamato. <laughs> Domo arigato, Mr. Yamato. Seems like it'll have what I need. Whoa, slow down, babe. Nope, not there. That was fast. Why wouldn't it be? It's not like I don't know what she's into. Wait, are you buying a present for someone? No, uh, forget that I said anything. L let's just keep looking. Any more ideas? Hmm, let me think. How about someplace on Junk Street? Can't imagine there's not a good spot there. Now here's someone you can buy anything from. Do you sell any traditional Japanese items? Chopsticks, bowls, that kind of thing? Of course, of course. For the right price, I got all kinds of goodies. Okay, let's see what you've got then. Well, for starters, there's this beauty of a teacup from the Sangoku era. Styled all pretty with gold leaf to boot. Ugh, tacky. Couldn't agree more. Oh, how about this? A Heian era folding screen. And signed, even. Eh, not what I'm looking for. All right. Got just the thing. A statue of the Buddha from the Kamakura period. It'll leave you wanting for nothing. Totally out of the question. <sighs> if I can't fleece ya, then why am I talking to you at all? Sorry about all this, Shariko. Ko, what in the world are you looking for? <laughs> Pretty much anything is fine. Come on, Asahi, let's head back to Etri by the station. What? We're just gonna slink right back to where we started? Do you have a problem with that? Actually, yes. But whatever. I don't even care anymore. Let's just get this over with. Hey, a clothing store! Wonder if they have anything in my side. Well, here we are. You not going in? Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, is it really worth going back into the same store again? We're not going to find anything. Look, this is obviously a really important gift you're buying if you're this worried about finding the right thing. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't misunderstand me, thank you. When did I say I was buying a gift for someone? You didn't. Your actions did. I just felt like getting a little walking in, that's all. But all this wild goose chasing has done is make me hungry. Not to worry, mistress. I have prepared a midday treat for you, specifically formulated for maximum re-energizing. Splendid! What is it? Manju cakes, served with traditional green tea to wash them down. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I believe I'll partake right now. Do enjoy, mistress. Manju and green tea, huh? That doesn't sound very Western to me. 
Ko was totally looking for something to give Yoshino, wasn't she? <sighs> something wrong, Ko? Just look. This is where we first met, isn't it? Oh yeah, so it is. How come you remember? Huh? I told you when we met that you're forbidden from remembering that I exist. After which point you said something like, and don't you dare forget that. I did not. Right, right. Anyway, I also heard all about you from Yoshino. She was worried sick about you, you know. Of course I was. I constantly worry about the young mistress. Her safety and happiness are my utmost concern. Constantly, huh? That can't possibly be true. Yoshino has been at my side for as long as I can remember. So, like, since you were a baby? I endeavor to always be at the beck and call of my mistress, no matter the situation. Man, you really are like family, then. I believe there will come a day, though, when my presence is no longer required, and the young miss can stand on her own. Really? What are you talking about, Yoshino? Your presence is always required, and will always be required. I am honored that you would say such a thing. But someday, you may desire more independence. <laughs> if that's really what you think, Yoshino, then so be it. I'll just have to prove to you how wrong you are. I'll show you how much I really need you. First order of business, I want some quality coffee. Follow me to Maxelsior Cafe in the station plaza. Mistress. Sheesh, what's gotten into her? Delusionscape. Shall we enter? Yoshino? No need to bother her with that. It's such a simple order, I'd be happy to pick it up for you, Ko. Hey, wait! Don't pout. That's just the kind of guy Mizuki is. He's helpful like that. Hm. Here you are. <sighs> Thanks, I guess. Black really is the best way to drink coffee. So, how many lumps would you like? Hello? Black coffee? I don't need sugar. You might not need it, but you definitely want it. It's written all over your face. <laughs> oh, fine. I'll take ten. Ten? Well, that's how much everyone takes, isn't it? Oh, some milk would be nice, too. If you're gonna dilute it that much, it probably would have been better just to order a cafe mocha. Cafe mocha? Is that one of those fancy designer coffees or something? Uh, well, it's... To see her enjoy herself means more than anything in the world to me. Yoshino? The young miss has grown considerably. She is now able to enjoy coffee with friends who care about her. Friends who have shown her a whole new world of possibilities. Yoshino, I'm bored. Let's go to the game center on Main Street. Right away, mistress. Something seems off here. Yoshino sounded happy, but she didn't look it. When saving, do be careful not to override a sibling's data. This is the place, Yoshino! You wanna throw down? I'll wipe the floor with you. Why would I want to challenge you? What's the matter? You chicken? Huh. Fine then. Get ready, because I'm going to destroy you! The young miss truly does look like she's having fun. So why do you look so lonely? That's a good question. Perhaps it simply comes with the territory when one serves as a surrogate mother. Comes with the territory? 
The young miss has made wonderful friends with whom she can even play games together. Which leaves me... well... Just feeling a little left out, I suppose. Yoshino... No surprises here! I am the champion! <laughs> you didn't even realize I was letting you win, did you? Wait, what? No way! See, even the mere suggestion makes you mad because you are just a child. I, on the other hand, am a grown woman. <laughs> I don't see how, considering you can't even cook. You're way more of a child than I am. I can too cook, thank you very much. Then make something. Fine, I'll show you. We're going to go buy some groceries right now. Come on, everyone, to the supermarket at UBX. shopping all alone. And it can't hurt to go together, right? So let's go, Ko! Can't very well call her mistress anymore, can you? She can even shop on her own now. What's up with you two? We're back! See? Told you I had everything under control. That's so wonderful, Mistress. It seems you truly were able to buy exactly what you needed. Naturally, of course. Which means... I... You're what? What does it mean, Yoshino? It means that I... I'm not... I need you, Yoshino. I told you that! If you weren't with me, I wouldn't have the confidence to do anything! Hey, Ko. Best you stay out of this one, Asai. Reiji? Um, mistress. What is it? All day. I have accompanied you as you've requested. Okay, and? Well, I was hoping I might trouble you to accompany me now. What? There's some place you want to go? There is. Where? Your delusionscape. What? Before all of the delusions are nullified, I would like you to let me see your world one last time. But why? Just as I am necessary to you, mistress, so too do I feel that you are a necessity for me. And I'd like to confirm that what I'm feeling is... real. Oh. oh okay? That's fine, then. Let's go. Why would Yoshino want to go into a delusion scape? Take a break. Business in the delusion scape? This is the end. Satisfied now? Yes. I am satisfied. So you understand, right? You understand just how much I need you. Yes. I understand very clearly. Good. So, maybe you'll stay by my side forever then? Like you're supposed to? No. That is something I cannot do. Why not? Being necessary to you has made me so happy, mistress from the very bottom of my heart. But it's not for the best. It's not... right. What do you mean? The truth of things, mistress. It's not that I am needed by you, but rather that you are needed by... me. Uh, care to fill me in on what the hell's going on here? What's going on is we finally have the answer we've been seeking. Yoshino, what is all this about? 
I was a necessity to you, mistress. That is precisely why I was born into this world. Without you, I would never have been allowed to exist. No. <laughs> this can't be happening. You and I have literally always been together. Yes, we have been. You and I, and a world being devoured by delusions. So, you're the reason I've always been able to perceive delusions? That's correct. But why? Why, Yoshino? Why does it have to be like this? It was your loneliness that spawned me, I believe. I was created solely because you were lonely. But now, my existence is no longer necessary. You've made so many friends. And thanks to them, I know you'll be just fine. Wait, why? Please. Before this day ends, I want you to nullify me, mistress. Why? I don't understand. As long as I exist, I believe you will forever be trapped in the space between reality and delusion. And when this day does end, you will forget that I myself am a delusion, which is why you must end me now. Please. I... I can't. I mean, I still haven't even given you your present. Then perhaps you can give me that gift here and now. <laughs> How can I do that? I haven't even been able to buy it yet. I have no need for material purchases. What? The gift I want most from you is for you to live a happy, independent life. But that's... For me to cease to be and you to live on your own. That is my final duty and my final request as your faithful maid. You should know. Mistress, this is to be my first and last bit of self-indulgence. Will you give me this greatest of gifts? This is really what you want. Yes, I would never lie to you. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, mistress. This will be my first and last gift to you. The very worst and the very best thing I can manage. Get ready, Asahi. You sure this is all right? Yeah. Let's make a big show out of this one. So big that no one will forget it for the rest of their lives. A single bow? This should be quick. No problem. Ah, 
Did... did we do it? Thank you, mistress. You've truly given me the greatest of gifts. One that I will cherish forever. Okay. Good. Then I've got one last order for you as my maid. Certainly. What would you like? Until today ends. Until this all ends. I order you to stay by my side. As you wish. This is it, you know? Of course. I am a maid. And I live to serve my mistress. If you order it, I am both obliged and delighted to obey. <laughs>